the American grocery store. The land of a thousand Oreo variations. Like, what is this, three, four times the amount of stuffing? And home of the handle. Oh, it gives me a stomachache just looking at it. With infinite options in every size and shape. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. If you want it, you got it. What is Nitro Pepsi? The Pop-Tart tastes like a waffle, I'm assuming. And they made a flaming hot one? Oh my god, I've been gone for too long. In my previous episodes, I brought you along to our local supermarket in Italy and showed you how much our groceries usually cost in Florence. It's $2.99 and it's still a DOCG. Followed by a little shock and awe at the ridiculous prices of Erewhon Market. I feel like I can't even afford to pick up this box. The most expensive grocery store in America. And today, I thought we'd back it up a bit so I can show you what a typical American grocery store looks like and how much groceries usually cost in Los Angeles. Subscribe to follow my adventures across Italy, South Africa, and America. Off to the grocery store we go. So I made it to my local Stater Brothers. Pretty uh, mid-range priced market. You also get Vons, Albertsons, and a few other ones here on the West Coast and in California. But I like Stater Brothers because they have good stuff and uh, it's pretty decently priced. Some of the other ones have the same stuff, but they're a couple dollars more for no reason, so yeah. Ooh, 4th of July stuff out already. <gasps> How patriotic. Oh, this brand is the best though. I love this brand. Fourth of July's this week. Little pinwheels for the garden. $1.99. Ooh, these are so pretty. They look like Easter eggs. So much to choose from. Oh, these aisles are huge. One thing about America, you're not short on space. Or options. I mean, look at all these juice options. This is crazy. You literally can get anything you want. This is insane. These liter and a half of juice runs around 250. Well, on sale it's 250. Normally it's three. And these bigger ones of like orange juice are around seven, and that's two lit two and a half liters. This is also why it takes forever to shop in the states. You have a million options just for pickles, and then tuna, and then juice, and yeah, it could take you a while, but if you're looking for something, the good news is you're probably gonna find it. I mean, how many kinds of tuna can there possibly be? My goodness. All of this stuff, albacore wild tuna, five bucks. I don't know how much tuna's supposed to cost, but yeah, seems it's around five bucks for some of these cans. And pickles too. How many variations of pickles does one possibly need? This is wild. And of course, you got the uh, Starbucks cold brew section here. My goodness. Oh, caramel macchiato. It's just over a liter for about $6.50. Got your iced coffee, medium roast, vanilla medium roast. Wow, wow, that's a lot of, ooh. You've got the tea also. These run about $3.80. This is literally over two and a half liters of sweet tea for $4. Then you've got the pastas. Family size, around eight bucks for 500 grams. Same with these, around eight dollars. Ooh, that looks nice. Spinach ricotta and Parmesan cheese. Pound and a bit for eight bucks. At Costco, you could get the same amount for ten dollars. Here, it's 14. So that's why shopping in bulk can be a lot cheaper. How's the soda aisle? Ooh, so many beverages in every form you can imagine. Can, bottle, smaller bottle. Look at how giant these two liters are. In Italy, Matteo and I usually get like this size bottle. So to come back and be buying bottles this size was crazy to me. I mean, they're massive. Like this is so heavy. Speaking of which, ugh, I need a Coke Zero. You got a great variety here of like Mexican cola too. What is this? What is Nitro Pepsi? I think it's like coffee now. I've been gone too long. In the chip aisle as well. Like this just goes on forever. If you want it, you got it. One of the, my favorite chips ever. 
Flamin' Hot Cheetos with the Limon Zest. It's actually an insane price drop. Normally this little bag is $5, but it's on sale for $1.99. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that. Oh my goodness, they made Flamin' Oh, this is a variety pack of Flamin' Hot. That sounds incredible. But my absolute favorite chip. These Salsa Verde Doritos are on sale for five bucks. Gotta get them. Oh, Tapatio Doritos. We used to eat these all the time. Burnt your mouth, but whatever. Oh, these look incredible. Are they on sale for $2? Dill pickle. Oh. You got Flamin' Hot Ruffles featuring LeBron. Baked chips for days, but those don't taste good. I absolutely love Sun Chips too. The Garden Salsa ones are really good. Ooh, black beans. Southern Western Queso. Since when did Doritos do dip? Spicy Nacho for five bucks. Cool Ranch. Wow. Look, you even got the Lay's Smooth Ranch Dip. French Onion Dip. Creamy Spinach Dip. Oh, this is an amazing. We actually tried this the other day. Four bucks for this M&M popcorn mix. Oh my god, they have a Fruity Pebbles one. Oh, that's amazing. I haven't had Pirate's Booty in forever. Kettle potato jalapenos. These are really good. So these you can get two for seven and you can mix and match. You can get a giant thing of tortilla chips for like $3.50. California has no shortage of delicious Mexican food and snacks. So you've got some pretty good brands here. I promise I have real food at home. I just wanted to pick up some snacks. I feel like this cart makes me look like really unhealthy, but my snacks last me like over a month. And just when you thought there was enough options in the fridge, guess what? You also got the warm shelf stuff. So one of these frappuccinos runs around three seventy. dollars Ooh, they also have Dunkin'. This looks so good. Every Gatorade flavor that was ever invented. Wow. Every kind of creamer you could ever want. I used to love this French vanilla one. These are usually around $4. Oh my goodness, cinnamon roll. That must taste amazing. I used to love coffee creamer. Oh, this one tastes like Kahlua, $4. You also have the Starbucks creamers, inspired by caramel macchiato. 28 fluid ounces for $6.50. Hazelnut latte, cinnamon dolce latte. Oh my goodness, these sound amazing. White chocolate mocha, these are all around $6.50. Again, endless options for yogurt. Let's see, Greek yogurt around five bucks. Get these little cups, five for five dollars. Oh, these are a dollar a cup. That's actually a great deal. Fourth of July America cookie cake. This is my favorite section. Look at how beautiful these cakes are. Oh my God, so much butter. <laughs> Pies. I like how all of them say Patriot. I feel like that's a little intense. Candy aisle. Again, is just insane. How many variations can one company make? <laughs> Look at these Reese's dipped animal crackers for $5. This is the smallest bag. Oh, but these are amazing. I absolutely love these pretzels. They finally brought Kinder Eggs to America. For the longest time they were banned because they were where kids would choke on the toy. So we got them in Canada when we were kids, but then when we got to the States, they just didn't have them because of that. So I don't know how they ended up getting approved, but you're looking at five bucks for three of them. And then you got the big bag of Sour Patch Kids for seven bucks. Absolutely love Sour Patch Kids. I mean, again, even with toilet paper, so many options. It makes it very hard to just pick one. Meat section here. Hmm. Pretty stacked seafood counter. Let's see, we got Italian dry salami for $7, pepperoni for six, ooh, prosciutto, seven panino snacks for about $9. These are pepperoni and cheese. So these, I mean, these are actually kind of small, but not bad. You got your pre-sliced party tray here, 10 bucks. All the cheeses here are around like $8 for like 200 grams. They've got the Dublin Kerrygold one for also around seven or eight. And we've made it to my favorite aisle. It's 
the cereal aisle and it just keeps going and going and going and going and going and we're still at the end and it's going and it's still going and we're going and it's still going and there's so many options it's amazing one of my favorite cereals growing up fruit loops and you can get this giant family size one for six dollars frosted flakes another solid one six bucks tricks this is the one that looked good but actually sucked cocoa puffs best part of this cereal was that it turned your uh milk into chocolate milk so you got to treat at the end these weren't around when we were little but mateo would love these look how big this box is i can barely grab it seven dollars cinnamon toast crunch also one of the greatest cereals ever made makes your milk taste like cinnamon sugar when you're done incredible six bucks oh my goodness this is a jumbo box for nine two bags there we go that's what i'm talking about welcome to america that's what i look like after i eat this cereal because i have such a sugar high that's my face while i eat the cereal because it's giving me a sugar high gotta love captain crunch i haven't had this one yet on this trip home so i'm totally grabbing a box four dollars oh the best now the cereal companies have made jumbo versions of their cereal and put it in packages i mean this seems like kind of a jip i mean there's only six packets in here of extra large cereal bits for 550 oh that's clever 150 for a little thing and you just add some milk that makes way more sense than this i mean were you even a child in america if you didn't have pop tarts for some of your breakfast they have a lot more flavors than when we were kids we only got like blueberry strawberry and cinnamon now you got more you got ego like how did they even do that ego is a waffle also another american kid breakfast so the pop tart tastes like a waffle i'm assuming i actually want to give these a try so i think we might get them looking at 350 there oh these ones were amazing they didn't they this was definitely post childhood but these are delicious you got frosted cookies and cream oh my goodness you got eight pop tarts in here eight packets for 350 i mean what no shame oh that small one looks so good yeah, I'm getting these and I'll report back. Admittedly, this is not looking like the healthiest cart right now. I actually bought strawberry pop tarts like two weeks ago and I just eat it when I'm like desperate for food and I have nothing else and it hits the nostalgia real bad. But it's kind of nice because I feel like I'm a kid again. It takes me right back to the 90s. So it's nice. Juice galore. Of course, nice gallon of Arizona iced tea for three bucks. Oh my gosh, it is heavy. <laughs> watermelon jesus really is a gallon this is almost four liters oh capri sun another childhood memory these were the best 2.99 for a box of 10. wow they actually still sell these wow oh yeah a liquor section 24 bottles of budweiser for 20 bucks 36 bud light cans on sale for 20 bucks Case of 24 Miller light cans for 20 bucks. Ducked out for the 4th of July too, how exciting. White Claw seltzers are all the rage these days. 5% alcohol, $20 for a 12 pack. Some of these are mixed as well. Oh yeah, America, look at all this stuff. Is that a necklace or a, ooh, patriotic lights. You got a light up necklace with the flag. Check out these glasses. Oh, those are quite cute, actually. Wow, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, rum chata. It tastes like Christmas. This is literally my college experience. If you know, you know. Oh, it gives me a stomach ache just looking at it. Ooh, White Claw makes spirits now. Since when? I absolutely love this one in the summer. Mix it with some Sprite. Oh, delicious. And that's usually 19, but it's on sale for 13. Bottle of Jose Cuervo, usually 14, but it's on sale for like 10. Gordon's, ooh, why is this in a plastic bottle? That's not normal. Jaeger, normally 22 bucks, on sale for 15 for the 750 mil. Ooh, the big boy is 40. This is 1.75 liters. In America, we do handles. Literally, this Tito's handle is 30 bucks. So the handle is 1.75 liters. Oh yeah, another handle of Smirnoff and a handle of Bacardi. Look at this thing, this is actually so heavy. $19 for the handle of Bacardi. This makes my stomach hurt. 20 bucks on sale for 18 for a handle of Captain. Oh, just looking at this gives me a stomach ache. Again, if you know, you know. Fireball, 14 on sale for 10. Oh dear god. They made them smaller. This is dangerous. You can also get the handle of Fireball. Oh god, my stomach. You can get this American one. This Tito's in this canvas bag. 
And as for the wine, usually Yellowtail is a pretty good one. That's not too expensive. I mean, it's like five bucks roughly. This Da Vinci is a DOC and it's normally $13, but it's on sale for 10. So that's actually not bad. This is also a DOC, a La Sera. Oh, that's actually really cheap for the fact that we're not in Italy. I'm impressed. The Da Vinci Chianti is a DOCG, the red. I've had this one before. It's divine. It's $13, but right now it's on sale for $10.39, so that's actually an excellent price. And then you got the Santa Margarita Chianti Classico DOCG for $24 on sale for $20. You got Snoop Dogg's wine for $12. Ooh, that's a nice bottle. <laughs> that's sick. Pizza Kitchen. Ooh, Sicilian recipe. Hello. Nine dollars for one of these. I've never seen that flavor before. Of course, DiGiorno. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Five bucks on sale, seven bucks normal. Marie Calendar's chicken pot pie, the closest thing America ever got to a savory pie. There's also a card for every occasion. Right? America. Commercialism. Consumerism. You can also buy gift cards to like almost anywhere for any amount. A million options of shampoo and conditioner. And this is why I end up at the store for hours just trying to buy a few things. This is the one I use. I like the Tresemme Flawless Curls. It's like a coconut one, seven bucks for each bottle, but it's a 820 mils. It actually lasts me a few months, so. Oh yes, the Oreo variations have become insane. Coffee crunch. Okay, birthday cake was a special edition one that they just made a permanent one, which I'm not mad about. Mint, I think, has been around for a minute. Where is the other one? I saw one the other day. Oh, peanut butter Oreos. Oh, of course, then they mix it up again. You got chocolate peanut butter pie Oreos. So I guess those two must be different somehow. I saw a s'more one the other day, but I don't see it here. Oh, okay, so you got, not only do you got double stuff, you also have mega stuff. Like, what is this, three, four times the amount of stuffing? I mean, I'm not mad about it. These giant things are six bucks each. Oh yes, these made it to the country. Mateo and I love these things in Italy. Oh, sweet, five bucks. So many cookie options. Right next to the ice cream. Oh yes, this Talenti gelato is divine. Caramel cookie crunch. Ooh, they're on sale for five bucks. Black raspberry chocolate chip, chocolate peanut butter. Oh, ooh, this one has nuts in it. Ooh, dairy free. That's cool. Five dollars. Salted caramel truffle. Five dollars. You gotta love Ben and Jerry's, right? Yeah, these are all five bucks. And you got classic drumstick. Oh, these Kit Kat ones look divine. Six bucks. These are really good. I love these ones. Never tried the M&M ones. Five bucks, oh, that looks so good. And Reese's also did a normal sandwich. Wow, they really don't mess around with variations here. What would you do for a Klondike bar? Ow. Hold up. Jesus candles, $1.99. Oh yeah, giant Skippy's peanut butter for nine bucks. That is convenient. Little squeezy one for three bucks. <laughs> Since when did they make these? Chip to go. Now that is convenience in a nutshell. Double pack, Jif, 13 bucks. Or double pack of Skippies for 10. Giant thing of Nutella for nine. These are my favorite donut holes from a grocery store, this brand. Oh, delicious. They taste so fresh somehow. These are another one of my favorites. Little Debbie's Swiss rolls for 250. So many bread options. 
loaf of Wonder Bread, 3.19. You can get Starbucks coffee. These little cans are 11 bucks. I've been drinking this one, this Nescafe Classico. It's an instant for 10 bucks. McCafe, $7. And you can actually buy a lot of Starbucks's coffee here. Espresso roast. So these 12 ounce packs are normally 11, but you can get them for eight right now. There's a lot here. Oh, <laughs> that looks so good. And if you had a machine, they also have pods. So 10 pods for 10 bucks, basically a dollar each. Oh, toasted graham. Oh, hello. Keto buns for five bucks, normally 750. You also don't have a shortage of Mexican tortillas and taco shells in every size. Oh, from like huge to tiny. For tacos and burritos, you got some Taco Bell shells up here. Old Paso taco shells. They sell these, in, they have this brand in Italy also, imported for three bucks. And we've got all the chips. Oh, these look so good. There is an incredible variety here of this stuff. For like a pack of these 16 tortillas, you're looking at six bucks. Oh my goodness. Where is Mateo? Seriously. He would be obsessed with this probably. This, I mean, I don't like peanut butter stuff, but he would love that. You also have like a million canned soup options. I mean, this is just one brand, Campbell's, and then you keep going this way. These things get intense. They're so good. I used to love being sick as a kid because I would just eat from these. They're like three bucks a can. It's like a full meal. Spicy chicken and gumbo. Oh, clam chowder. This is crazy. I mean, just so much to choose from. What is this? Oh, that can't be right. That can't taste good. I feel like that's not okay. And they made a flaming hot one. Oh my God, I've been gone for too long. What? is going on cheesy jalapeno has anyone had from these like are they good i feel like my stomach hurts just looking at them so if you've tried it let me know how it went oh yeah funfetti. i love funfetti they have so much keto stuff now this is a keto friendly double chocolate cake mix for 350 Ooh, birthday cake chocolate chip cookie all of these are keto this is the best Oh my God, they have cinnamon toast frosting now? No way. The 350, that's probably insanely good. I love frosting. Oh, this with the frosting must be divine. I mean, so much to choose from again. Like, it's insane. I mean, just look at the options for like canola oil and vegetable oil. I mean, this is just so much. We've got a great selection of Barilla here as well. So Mateo and I usually get this kind. For 350 grams, it's 189. For the one pound Barilla box, 189. That's not bad. We pay a euro five for 500 grams. So it's about the same. Oh, interesting. This is the first time I've seen gluten-free Barilla. So you're looking at 329. I've never seen these Rud boxes before. I wonder what the difference is. Normally we get the Fusilli. Interesting, this is $3. I will admit though, the pasta sauce section is always lacking. You will not find Alfredo sauce in Italy. The pasta sauce always makes me sad here. You can't, it's like, there's really not that much variety for how much there is in this country. I'm surprised that we don't have a better variety of pasta sauces. I mean, this Barilla one is probably, is like the only one I'll use. It's 350. I mean, Barilla only has tomato basil, marinara, and roasted garlic. Some of these other ones are pretty okay. I mean, the vodka sauce one is good. But yeah, not great. You can get a giant thing of meat flavored Prego sauce for $6.50. Ooh, yeah, this is the pesto we usually get in Italy. The Barilla pesto, it's four bucks here. I think we were paying like two euro 50. And 12 eggs is going for five bucks. Or these ones are $6. Oh, yes. The Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. These things just pop right out. So delicious. Got your dough sheets already there. Crescents and everything. You can also get a giant American flag for 20 bucks. Ooh. Krispy Kreme donuts. 15 items or less. That's me. Good, thanks, how are you? Um, this one would be great, thank you. All done. Okay, so for some reason, the phone number I have isn't working anymore for the store, so that I couldn't get the discounts. The total came out to $49, I think. Yeah, so with tax, the total came out to $49.55. Tax was $258. Um, 
I don't know why my number that I was using for this place wasn't working today, so I couldn't get any of the discounts. So 50 bucks for bananas, uh, cereal, vodka, Captain Crunch, you know, a couple things. $50 is pretty typical here. I feel like our money goes a lot further in Italy to be honest with you, but I do have a real food at home, I promise. I just wanted to pick up some snacks and show you guys the grocery store. Yeah, I don't just eat chips and cereal and vodka. I dip the banana in the vodka and then wash it down with a chip, but yeah. So that's a very typical shopping experience here. If you don't have a savers card, that's how much this stuff would cost. If you do, you get the discounts.